each vessel uh, over a certain size and depending on its type must, according to uh, certain international conventions that exist, must transmit uh, a radio signal. And inside that radio signal we have the identification of the vessel as well as the coordinates of the vessel and its speed, its heading and information on where it's going, for example. What EMSA does is centralize all of that information which is gathered by the member states. We centralize it once and fuse all of that information together to make a single combined maritime picture. So that makes it a lot more efficient because we share all of the information between all of the different member states, but also means less points of failure. That information is uh, transmitted by the vessels over various different systems. So around the European Union, around the coastline, there is a network of towers, which is called SafeCNet, which are detecting these signals which are transmitted by the vessels. The same technology that those towers are using, which is called AIS, is also fitted onto satellites. So EMSA receives from the member states who have national space programs gathering this information, but also from the commercial sector, this satellite AIS information. And we fuse it together into one single picture. So uh, we always have the most readily available, the most up-to-date position for a single vessel, regardless of what different source that it comes from. A lot of safety information is also shared by the member states. For example, is the vessel carrying any hazardous material? It's very important that the member states are aware of that because if there is an accident at sea, we need to know exactly what uh, we need to deploy on scene to respond. So do we need uh, different chemical dispersants? Is there a risk of uh, explosion? But also, uh, there, it, most of the time there are no accidents, thankfully. So when the vessel arrives into port, we need to know what equipment is needed to safely unload the vessel. So if there's a, a, a certain container carrying something that's hazardous, we may need to uh, take a little bit of extra care when we're unloading it.